Guys, welcome back to Goatee Talk. Yeah. And I think I, Brian Seacrest. I, I looked in the mirror and said, finally. Yeah. Finally. You found your look. Finally, I could grow it out, you, you know? Found, you found yeah. your move. Thank you for that. That's a little yeah. Wolfman Jackie. Yeah, it is a little Wolfman Jackie. Uh, <laughs> dude, I got to congratulate you on two things. <laughs> I've just I'm shaved. <laughs> uh, and wax. Uh, there right. you go. Uh, there you perfect. Go. Uh, I, two things I want to grab. Yes, First of all, the Emmy win. Thank you. You won an so Emmy great. for hosting live. Uh, Very Ryan. Thank you. Yes. you did a great job over there. She carries it. She carries it. She's the best. And uh, we were very happy. We were very excited about team. that. Oh, that's awesome, dude. That's She's the best. Great. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and then you also, this is a, a really big deal. You're inducted into the Radio Hall of Fame. Uh, that is amazing. That's hey, that's thank you. I really, I know. I feel like that means a lot to you. It does mean a lot. I, I started in radio when I was uh, a high school teenager, and w to get the inducted, the thing is the fans had, the listeners had to vote, and I really wanted to win it, you know? I, I, we, so we were on the air talking about uh, getting votes, and we said, look, we know you're all busy, so if you send us your email address, we'll forward the emails to the Hall of Fame, and we'll also send you a personalized thank you, uh, and we'll shoot those after the radio so show. You're voting for them. They yeah, have to yeah, do any work. They have no work, and it worked. It paid off. And then I realized a great thing. It was sort of meant to be because I've met a lot of people like you, but I had never met somebody else that's being inducted that night, and that's Dr. Ruth. And so finally, I'll get a chance to ask her some questions. I mean, you're going to ask Dr. Ruth questions about... Well, why yeah. not? Well, I mean, I, I guess why not? I mean, you're there. Well, when, yeah. when, when is this? Uh, you have questions of your own? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? It's a few, yeah, a few when weeks. will it happen for me? Yeah, yeah, that's it, what I want to ask her. But it's, I'm excited about that. Oh, that's, good. Here's, here's a picture of you when you were 15 right there. Yeah, that's Star 94 Atlanta, WSTR. Look at that. 94.1. Today's best music, playing all the hits. Today's best music. Today's best music. Home of Steve McCoy in the morning. Ah, were you, were you on the air at this so point or no? Th this, uh, yeah, I was doing the weekend shift at this point. And this was the company jacket that they, you know, after you do a couple of hours, they give you that. Oh, that's a big deal. That's a, yeah, you, you don't want to take that sucker off. <laughs> I used to ask to drive the van home and parking in my driveway over the weekends because it looked cool with the logo. You know, the kids in the neighborhood the would drive I love that. And, and that, those are the cartridges that you'd plug Yeah, in? those are the carts. You'd, you'd pull those out, stack it. Those are the songs and the commercials. You have to pull those out and stack them up and then put them into the machine. Do you miss that stack. part of the thing? Cause, uh, when no, I... that was a lot of labor, a lot of work. But it was. It, now you just drag a mouse and hit play. Did you have records when you did that? No records. No, no records, but we did have reel-to-reel -reel tape that I'd have to splice. So there would be, re if you had a phone call and you wanted to record a phone call, you'd, you'd tape it on a reel-to-reel. -reel, and then if you wanted to edit it, you'd have to splice it and then tape it together and then play it back. No way. Yeah. So you learned how to do all that that's stuff? That's how old I am. No, no. It's not. No, it's, I just, no that's the fun of radio. Yeah. Know. You yeah, never know all on. the stuff that goes into it. I mean, I have friends that, are, that worked in radio for years, and they said the one thing that haunts them, they still have nightmares about it, is dead, dead air. air. I just, wow, what that's weird. That? I know. It's like... I feel like I'm a mentor. No, <laughs> yeah. I can't that, shush. No, even, even, like if, if a song, if I'm in the car and a song starts to fade and it's almost out, I start to panic and call into the radio station and say, it's almost over. What's the next record? Song. What's the next song? Get the card. What's next? Yeah. yeah. And what would you do? Like say a song had ended and you didn't have the next song. Uh, I would turn on the mic and I would, uh, you know, take calls or something and vamp until I could get the next song on. And so you just talk to just, him and you just, just do, try and do and, and hi, hi, how are you? Where are you calling from? That's great. What are you up to this weekend? What are you doing this morning? And here's Michael Bolton. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and here's kind. Michael Bolton. Yeah. Uh, that, uh, that, was big, that was hot back in the day. Uh, another congratulations is I, I heard that you, uh, you, you busted one of the Kardashians' toilets. <laughs> well, uh, and this is, it was unintentional. Um, it, I took the drive to Calabasas. I was invited to a, this is embarrassing, but I was invited to a, a big party of theirs with all of the family. All the sisters were there. Yeah, well, and, you. Um, I had a lot to eat that day, and I had to go to the bathroom when I got in, and there's this robot. Have you seen the robot, you know, toilets with all the buttons? And, uh, dude, all kinds I'm jealous. Of, I don't have one, but I've well, seen Well, they them. have one, and there's all kinds the, of the options. The lid comes yeah, up before you go in. It's like, up. welcome. <laughs> yeah, like... And you're, you're sitting there, and as you're, you're, I was seated, and as I was seated, I was looking at the menu of options, the things you, the things you can do when you're finished. And so, <laughs> and so I, I chose one, yeah. and I pressed it, and the water level began to rise underneath me. And I thought, oh, God, I better hit the other button. So, and it began to rise even more. And now I'm faced with one of life's great challenges and choices. What do I do? Do I call Kim, Chloe? or Chris and say, help? Or do I press the, the other, the third button and risk it overflowing or closing? I hit the button and the lid closed perfectly and I got out and went back to the party. I never told them about that. So if they're, <laughs> if they're, 
<laughs> you see, you left, you let someone else walk in. Someone, one of the other sisters had to deal with that. <laughs> You're funny her right now.